The first day of competition is in the books at the 22nd Olympic Winter Games in Sochi, Russia. While concerns about terror attacks and human rights have dominated the run-up to the Games, now the events start. And Olympic organizers certainly hope the athletes will take center stage. All told, 230 U.S. athletes will go for the gold in Sochi, and tonight, one of them already has it. Alfonso Van Marsh has a wrap-up of day one. Fair warning, he is going to tell you which American was the first to win gold. Big board, big tricks. That's slope-style snowboarding, and American Sage Kotzenberg took the gold medal in the sport's Olympic debut. Honestly, it feels like a dream right now. Just winning a gold on the first day and the first event of slope style ever being in the Olympics is seriously the craziest thing ever. The 20-year-old from Park City, Utah, won it with one trick he'd never tried before. The 1620 is a helicopter twirl which involves spinning four and a half times. Hannah Carney, a 27-year-old from Norwich, Vermont, grabbed the bronze in the women's moguls. She won gold at the 2010 Vancouver Winter Games. Americans are in fourth place in the medal count after the first day of competition. But in a games mired with controversy even before they began, the choice of Russian figure skater Irina Rodnina to help light the Olympic torch last night caused a stir. Back in September, she tweeted a photo of President Obama that some consider racially offensive. It was removed. Answering critics, the head of the Sochi organizing committee said Rodnina's selection had nothing to do with politics. Irina Radina, uh, he's uh, from the couple of the three times Olympic champion, one of the most uh, respected uh, in the world uh, Olympic athletes. The torch lighting ceremony brought cheers at this outdoor Olympic viewing party, among them 19-year-old American Morgan Gandhi. Far better than I expected. It's so much fun. It's, the people here are awesome. They're friendly. Everyone wants to talk to you, so it's just really cool. Jim, not everybody is happy with the Olympics or the perceived crackdown on dissent. While many people were watching the opening ceremonies, there were coordinated protests against Russia's anti-gay laws. In Moscow, police arrested many pro-gay rights demonstrators who sang the national anthem and unfolded a rainbow flag. Alfonso Van Marsh on day one in Sochi. Thank you.